My name is Reno Jayton. I work with a superbike. I put high speed wheelies sitting on the seat, high speed wheelies uh, standing on the seat, sitting on the handlebar. I drive backwards at high speed. My partner is Cleo Jayton, my wife. I've been riding professionally for a little over a year. We you know, can do a really any way possible on a motorcycle. He's amazing. He has an incredible sense of balance. Uh, some of his favorites and some of my favorites to watch, uh, he does a wheelie sitting on the handlebars, which is pretty astonishing. That takes just the, the maximum power of a motorcycle to pick up you know, a 400 pound motorcycle and a man sitting on, on the handlebars is great. Frino does a thing called a rocking horse. He does a front wheelie and then immediately into a back wheelie shaped sort of like a rocking horse. All this wheeling requires a very, very long training. For a wheeling, you have to consider two things. If the first, first thing is you take off with a motorcycle with a front wheel, you take off. And the second thing is to come to the balance point. That's where it's difficult to work. I have a part of hot shoes. During the hot shoes portion of the show, we usually start with Reno doing kind of an emergency stop in front of me, and then I'll turn around and we'll take off uh, in a burnout and he's pushing me with the motorcycle, which is an odd feeling because you can't see the motorcycle at that point. One of uh, Reno's favorite hot shoe tricks is what we call no feet. The sole is made uh, out of uh, high quality steel metal. It's very hot. It's uh, on, on a hot day, like in summer, when you make several passes and you pass around 135, 140 miles an hour, you have the feeling that you are walking on a stove. This steel body plate straps onto Reno's chest. During the dragging act, what we're trying to do is get the maximum miles per hour. By the time we hit fifth gear, I would guess we're doing 135. This man is being dragged on his stomach over 95 miles per hour. It's very dangerous. It's incredibly dangerous. But what we're doing is we're taking a controlled risk. I got a lot of injuries, a lot of broken bones. What we tell people is we don't ride the motorcycles on the streets because it's too dangerous. After being dragged, the metal plate loses several layers from heat and pavement scraping. The intentional high-speed crashing of a motorcycle means risking serious bodily injury and is as dangerous as it gets. When I crash in the motorcycle, the first thing the people come and say, the first word I hear is crazy. As a little kid, I wanted to be an astronaut or a motorcycle rider. I'm a motorcycle rider. So what's a motorcycle daredevil's life like? It's absolutely crazy. My name is Reno Bijaton, and you are watching Over the Edge.